Hello nurses and hello top notchers! Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to our online lecture. So for today, meron po tayong sasagutan ngayon na hot question kung saan lagi po itong lumalabas sa ating board exam. So pagdating sa board exam at na-encounter mo sa choices ang ating participants, subject at saka respondent, alin po ba nga dapat ang tamang isagot natin kapag yung mga choices na yun ang ating na-encounter sa board exam? So our hot question of the day is this. During the open forum, the hospital research coordinator raised the question as to who among the following provides information in the questionnaires? A. Participants B. Key informants C. Respondents or D. Subject So during your actual board exam at na-encounter nyo po itong tanong na ito alin dito ang ating tamang isagot Okay? So participants ba yan? Respondents ba yan? Or subject po ba yan? So take note ang tanong dito is Who among the following provides information in the questionnaire? So para mas maintindihan po natin at magkaroon po tayo ng idea kung alin dito ang tamang sagot isa-isayin po nating alamin ang pagkakaiba ng ating participants, respondents, at saka ng ating subjects. So, take note nurses that participants, respondents, and subjects are the people who the researcher selects for their study. So, if we say subjects, subjects are the people in the researcher's experiment and usually ito po yung ating ginagamit sa ating quantitative research. So, example, in a medical experiment, the control group of 10 subjects did not receive the medicine while the experimental group of 10 subjects received the medicine so mapapansin po natin dito sa ating example nag-undergo po tayo dito ng experimental study so under ng ating experimental group yung ating mga subjects so these are more common in your researchers experiment so usually quantitative research po ang gamit sa ating subject so pagdating sa board exam tingnan mo yung ating uh, person selected by the researcher kung anong gagawin niya Kung ito'y mag-undergo ng ating experimental study or under ng ating quantitative study of research, ang sagot natin dyan is subject po ang tawag natin sa kanila. Again, so if the person selected by the researcher will undergo an experimental study, that is known as your subjects. Okay? So yun po ang ating magiging keyword pagdating sa ating board exam for your subjects. Then next, if we say respondents in research, respondents answers or response or reply to questionnaires. So keyword natin sa board exam, pag respondents, sila yung mga sumasagot ng questionnaires. So usually, ito po yung under ng ating quantitative research. So respondents generally answer or replies to questions asked by the researcher. So pag nagsasagot ng questionnaire, ang tawag po natin sa mga yun ay mga respondent po. Okay? So ang keyword natin, the answers or the replies to questioners or the answers to the questions of your researchers. So, no more no less. Yan po ating keyword pagdating kay respondents. Again, so always remember your keyword. Your keyword here is, if we say respondents, they answer or they respond to questioners or they just answers the questions of the researchers. So, yun po ating pinaka the best na keyword pagdating kay respondent. And last, we have your participants. So, pag sinabi naman po natin participants, they are the individuals or persons who participate and answers questions in qualitative studies. So, example, sila po yung nag-undergo ng ating interviews at saka focus group discussion. So, pag sinabi naman po natin palang focus group discussion kasi lumalabas din po yun sa board exam, focus group discussion is bringing together 6 to 12 person in a room to collect data in a participant. So, yun po ating keyword sa board exam. So, pag meron kang 6 to 12 person in a room to collect data from your participants, ang tawag po natin doon is focus group discussion. So, pag ang mga person ay nag-undergo ng ating focus groups or interviews, that is your participants. So, kadalasan pong ginagamit yan sa ating qualitative type of studies. So, again, to summarize our lecture for today, if we say subjects, subjects are the person who usually in experimental or scientific type of research in a quantitative type of research. And pag sinabi naman po natin respondents, they are the person who answers or responds to questioners. So, usually, quantitative type of research din po yan. And if we say participants, participants are usually the person in qualitative research in interviews and focus group. So, sila po yung nag-undergo ng interviews at saka focus group discussion. So, sila po yung ating participants. Again, keyword, pag subject, nag-undergo po sila ng mga experimental studies. And kapag respondent naman, sila naman po yung sumasagot ng questioners or nag-answer or nagre-reply po sa ating mga questions of the researcher. And Pag sinabi naman po natin participants, they are usually involved in qualitative type of research and they undergoes interviews and your focus group 
discussion. So, yan po yung ating pagkakaiba ng subject, respondent, and participants. Okay, so it's time for us to answer our hot question of the day. So, sabi dito, during the open forum, the hospital research coordinator raised the question as to who among the following provides information in the questionnaires. A. Participants, B. Key informants, C. Respondents, or D. Subjects. Again, nakalagay dito, provides information in the questionnaires. So, who will respond or who will reply to questionnaires? The correct answer here is letter C. Respondents po ang ating sagot dito kasi pag sinabi natin subject, subject undergoes experiment. And pag sinabi naman natin participant, they undergo uh, interview and your focus group discussion. So, the correct answer here is letter C. So, pagdating sa board exam, pag may encounter po itong tanong nito, ang sagot po natin ay respondents. Thank you.